Hey there guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and XMind, two really popular platforms designed to help teams and individuals brainstorm, organize ideas, and plan projects visually. I'll walk you through their features, user experience, integrations, customer support, and of course pricing. So by the end of this video, you should have a pretty clear idea of which one makes more sense for you. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out the link that I added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just through my link. So let's get started. First off, let's break down what these platforms actually do. Miro is an online whiteboard tool packed with templates, sticky notes, diagrams, and endless space for creative collaboration. It's widely used by product teams, designers, and educators who want to brainstorm, map out workflows, or run remote workshops. XMind, on the other hand, is a specialized mind mapping tool focused more on structured visual thinking. It's great for breaking down complex ideas, creating detailed diagrams, and organizing information hierarchically, which makes it popular with students, researchers, and anyone who loves outlining their thoughts. Now, moving into features, Miro's big strength is its flexibility. You get an infinite canvas where you can add all kinds of content, images, charts, videos, diagrams, and invite team members to collaborate in real time. There's also a rich library of pre-built templates and integrations with tools like Gyra, Slack, and Google Drive, making it a go-to for teams that need to keep projects moving fast. XMind, on the other hand, is laser-focused on mind maps and diagrams. You get tools for creating colorful branches, adding notes, attaching links, and even exporting your maps to formats like SVG and Markdown. Plus, XMind has recently introduced AI-generated to-dos and equations, which are perfect if you're looking for an enhancement to your diagrams with a little more depth. Now, let's talk about user experience. Miro's interface is really easy to use, but at first, it can feel like a lot because there are so many tools and options. The good thing is they have plenty of tutorials and templates to help you get the hang of it fast. XMind, on the other hand, is simpler and more focused on mind mapping. If you want to create clean and structured maps without distractions, mind map is straightforward and very easy. It's great if you're working alone or just want something simple. When it comes to integrations, Miro is clearly ahead. It works with more than 100 apps so that you can bring in data from tools like Trello, Asana, and Figma. XMind is more of a standalone tool. It focuses on letting you export maps in different formats, but doesn't connect to many apps. This makes Miro a better choice for teams while XMind works best for personal or focused work. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro has a free plan, then offers a starter at $8 per user per month, business at $16 per user per month, and enterprise pricing if you contact them directly. XMind also has a free plan with its pro plan at $10 per month and premium plan at $15 per month. So which one should you choose? If you're looking for a flexible, highly collaborative space for brainstorming and team projects, Miro is hard to beat. But if you want a clean, dedicated mind mapping tool with powerful outlining features and a simpler setup, XMind might be exactly what you need. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.